What is up, Parmaniacs? Pal CC, we're back in the world of all the Mod 3 Remix. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but all the Mod Remix 4 was announced. Um, it is basically just a vanilla plus mod at the moment. It's not ready to go, so we're not going to be swapping over to it probably anytime soon. But um, it is something to uh, to know about. So something they're testing. Uh, it's not ready for, you know, widespread use yet. And your worlds all end up getting wiped, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but something to think about. All right, so... Last episode, we were working on increasing our souls, or our will, sorry, I keep saying souls. Um, I upgraded to a common Tartaric gem, which is just our, our lesser Tartaric with a diamond, an imbued slate, and a block of gold. Um, I don't know how much this one can hold, but I, I think it's like a thousand, maybe more than a thousand. Either way, um, we do need some more souls. And I went ahead and removed the golem thing because fuck golems and I'm, I hate them. This is going to be our temporary new monster spawner area. And does cursed earth spread? I actually don't know if cursed earth spreads. Hmm. I don't think it does. Fuck. Why am I looking it up there? I need it here. Hmm. Because if Cursed Earth spreads, then I could just do it like this and drop one, and it'll slowly infect the rest. But I don't know if it spreads or not. I guess I can always light the room back up, because I believe it only spawns in darkness. But I guess, I guess we're going to find out. So the goal here is to fall back to here rapidly and then place this block here and then have our little stabby spot right here. So that's that's the hopes. Um, let me research real quick and see if Cursed Earth spreads. Okay, according to the FTB wiki, Cursed Earth spreads. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like that. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, dude, that turned everything. Oh my god. Uh, Hi, guys. Holy shit, look at all this. Well, then. What the fuck? What the? Uh, get out, little bastard. Oh boy. Uh, uh oh. Coin? Hello, coin? Nope. All right. Dude, this is sick. I definitely would not. Can you imagine like a world or whatnot that was full of cursed, cursed earth? Look at how fast them, ow! Look at how fast some of these things are moving. Hey, what's up, duders? What's up? Oh my god, did you that was like four creepers that just ran by. So what I'll probably end up doing is um digging out this one and this one so we can see the whole room. And then um what we could do if we wanted to. Catalyzing gland. How are we doing on this? Uh oh. Oh, okay, good. I was about to be like, damn it, it's not going in there. It is going in, it's just not going in um, in that one, which is fine. I don't really care which one it goes into. We can always drain it into the other one later. Uh, let's go ahead and dig this open. And dig this open. And then, oh Jesus, how did you... What are the chances of that little bastard getting out? Okay, apparently spiders can run out. We know little baby dudes can get out. Please don't shoot me anymore. I asked nicely. Getting a little bit of lag here. Anyways, um, for some of the recipes, we need a lot of souls. A lot. And a couple of you guys pointed out, oh really dude, really? You're gonna die. You guys pointed out that um, there were a couple things I could do like, uh, oh hello. 
Uh, I can enchant this, which is something we'll look at here in a minute. Um, I'm curious though, is the damage going up anymore? It doesn't look like it is. And I was hoping that the damage would continue to increase as we got more and more souls, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I'm kind of curious if there's a way to like further upgrade these things or not. So either way, we only used one of our many, or of our, I say our many, of our three drops of evil. So we'll be able to get more of them as time goes on. Um, we definitely are gonna be able to get as many souls here. I keep saying souls, will here as we need. There we go. That's up to 348. I'm gonna go ahead and put this other one up so that we stop dumping into it. Yeah, so we're up to, we're up to 348. Now, if I recall, the item that we were wanting to make last time, right here, we need 400. So that's not terrible. God, they're fast. I wonder what makes them so fast in here. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I wonder if the cursed earth makes them quick or what? I'm also kind of confused as to why, like sometimes they spawn in hordes and other times they don't. I'm also kind of confused how uh, that guy was slightly out of, or like sometimes one hit knocks them out of range and other times it doesn't. There we go. I like pissing those things off and having them come running. Well, it's kind of slowing down, which has me kind of bummed. Uh, and I don't see anything in the room. If you look in the radar... Whoa! Fucking spiders! I don't see anything in the room. Like, I thought maybe there was a bunch of spiders up above. But I don't see... Well... I mean, I see stuff now, because there is stuff in here. Come on, buddy. No, there's nothing left in the room. That's fucking weird. Alright, well... Let's be smart. Let's not be stupid. Stupider. Wife will kill me if I leave this stuff alone. We're gonna seal that in. Let it let it do its thing. And I need to head back to the farm to sleep real quick so that we don't get surprised. I'm curious if we hit 400. I know we were close. Not quite. Not quite. That's fine. Uh, let's get bowls out of here real quick. Wow, 33. Holy shit. Um, all right, I'll leave those on me, I guess. We need to make some cheese real quick. We still haven't found a way to make the cheese making process easier. There we go. I'm sure there are ways. We just we just haven't really cared enough to put the effort into it. All right, put all that stuff up. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to the Cursed Earth place until we get to 400. Um, I am curious though, what is it called? Sanguine of science. I'm wondering if they will talk about a way to increase like the, um, the amount gotten. Let's see. Water sigil. I'm not seeing anything. Void sigil, sigil of the green grove. Uh, Tome of Parisha, maybe? One of you guys did talk about incense uh, being used to increase cutting, which is nice. But I'm not seeing much Bur Arcane Ash, Burning Furnace. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing much here. So, the Demon Ken. Sentient Armor, Unexpected Results, Sentient Sword. My snares got tangled again. It doesn't seem to matter how much I try to improve the design. Just seems tangled. I went to the forge again. Well, not right away since I had to first clean the ash off the top of it again. I infused the demon will holding capabilities, blah, blah, blah. I was actually very disappointed with the outcome because it took long for the fiddling with the forge. So it would not overheat for the strain. However, as soon as I picked up my target gem, the sword started to glow with a new energy. It seems that the higher the amount of demonic will I have on my person, the more damage I seem to do with the sword. Interesting. As well as the more demon will that drops. Whenever you don't have a gem, the will amount is very minuscule. After a bit of testing, I came to another realization. Depending on what I kill, I received different amounts of will. It seemed proportional to the amount of maximum health. Okay. I should keep this in mind for later. So basically, I, I guess I was kind of right in that fact that the more raw will we get, the... Um, 
the damage will increase, but I bet it's on benchmarks and breaking points. So it's not going to be easy. That being said, uh, I am going to go ahead and get us up to 400 real quick so that we can make the binding reagent that we need. And then we'll kind of move on from there. All right. So one of the things that's bugging me is our sentient swords getting awfully low on uh, health. So we have an item repair here. I don't know how this is going to work. So we're going to find out. Um, do I not have any of those? I need like what how many of those did i need eight i think these do it yeah yeah one two three four five six seven there we go thank you all right so we need two of these so one two there we go clear uh then i need this here which I got clear. I guess I could just say screw it and just do the recipe. Uh, empowered diamantine crystals. Oh, they're not empowered. Oh. Oh. Well, how do we empower r -r 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 them? Which are the main crafting? Yeah. I don't like how it doesn't tell you. See, that's just the normal crystals. But what about empowered crystals? Yeah, so those are all just void crystals. Let's do empowered. Does it have to be over here? All right, fuck it, I'll figure it out. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna have to come over here to the empowerer. Empowerer, I believe. There might be another recipe for it, but I can't find it. Um, clay, 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 blue dye. So let's get all of that stuff set up real quick. And it's clay, 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 blue dye. And then what goes in the middle? Does it say? A normal diamine teen crystal, which I have four of, because I thought those were the kind we needed. And there we go. And hopefully, that will do something. Is it doing something? It does not seem to be doing something. I don't know how to actually turn this fucking thing on. Because the last time I did it, the wife did it. And she didn't tell me how to use it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're showing me the recipes, but you're not showing me how to turn the damn thing on. Powers, to use it, items should be empowered, can be... Right click on the empower, empower items seems to be placed with display at the end two blocks away. To then activate every display stand needs to be powered with a lot of CF that isn't drained to the emperor. Okay, so everything's set up right. Except for maybe here. Ah. If he needs a light blue dye. Okay. Okay, I'm with you now. So that's not a problem. Okay, yank this fucking thing. Oh shit. No! Oh god fucking dang it. I'm fixing that right now. Okay. S son of a bitch. Alright, and boom. Okay. So we need boom. And then I need bone meal. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then uh one, two, three, four. Only took a minute for me to figure it out, but I feel oh, I only need to use a couple. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it works. That's the more important thing. All right. So put you back there. Put you back there. Boom, boom. And then, uh, bazow. There we go. Okay. Not too shabby. There we go. Whoops. Not exactly the easiest recipe to do, because it's awfully manual, but other than that, at least it's not a hard thing to make. There we go. What the fuck? Something popped out an egg over here, it sounded like. I'm a little concerned. Okay. Now we have all of that. So we have the ender casing. Um, we have both of these. We have those. 
Um, these right here are made from, well, oh, he wants the empowered ones. Well, shit. Because I've got the normal ones. So we're going to have to do the exact same thing we did there. So to get these, it's the same fucking recipe. Of course it is. What else would it be? And I need four of the damn things, of course. Of course. Rat bastards. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's the four. Uh, so we need that, we need that, and then we need the double clay, and then you. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, and boom. Jesus, how much power does that thing take? I'm assuming because it's a, um, a block that it takes exponentially more. Holy shit, dude, this is taking a while. Uh. Holy crap, dude. That took like two, three minutes. What in the hell? I mean, it's got plenty of power. Right? Yeah. I mean, if I come over here, we look at this. Dude, we're like not even... Dude, we're not even like... It's barely pulling 1,200 a tick. I mean, it's nothing. So this just takes a while. All right, cool. Well, we'll wait till this is done. All right. I think we got everything we need. Hopefully, knock on wood. Hopefully, this even works. I, I haven't even... Are you fucking... <laughs> it's like you must use everything to make it empowered, yeah. All right, so if we need the empowered Inori crystals, we need a snowball, a butt. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, after dicking around forever, we finally have the stuff uh, to empower those crystals. You just have to go over snow, button, cobblestone, and pig gray pigment, which we used ink sacks, and um, what was it? Let's see how this works. Oh, <gasps> look at that! It is repairing ya. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right, so now I don't have to worry about wrecking our sword as we as we try and desperately level that thing up. Okay, so now we have a couple different options for enchanting. So we have the man enchanter, which we're not going to get to. We have the enchanter, um, and then we have the enchanter now. Ender IO's Enchanter, I believe, is the one we're actually going to want. Uh, do we have any, what, what is it, Dark Steel at once? I think I may actually have all of that stuff. Holy shit, we do. Now, if I'm not wrong, I should be able to just put it right like that, and then open it up, and then we click on Show Recipes. Beautiful! Beautiful. Okay. So we have Excavate, Magnetic, Auto Smelt, XP Boost, Protection, Fire Protection, Feather Falling, Blast Protection, Projectile Respiration, uh, Sharpness would be really cool. So let's let's make some books and quills real quick. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I guess I could do that here if it'll let me. It will not. Let's do it here. It's weird sometimes it will not let you... Um, if you start typing here first, it won't let you type down there. It's it's very strange. I don't understand why. Let's do four of them. I was able to do two. So we don't have a lot of feathers. That's not good. Uh, the good news is we have plenty of freaking EXP. So, yay, ish. Okay, so looking at this one more time. Ooh, now power is for bows. So we don't want that. We don't want fortune. We do want sharpness, though. I'm thinking we want sharpness five. Yeah. Now that's going to give us a book of sharpness five. I'm curious how that's going to work out. Um, can efficiency work on it? 
No. Okay. Power. No. Punch. We don't want. Flame. We don't really want. Lure. Soulbound. Withering. Decay. I mean, withering could be fun. Insight. Multi shot. Jesus Christ. Uh, repellent, smelting, vorpal. What the fuck is vorpal? Okay, so vorpal and reaper. I need to look both of those up. Um. Oh God. So reaper is apparent. That requires draconium. I don't have much draconium. I don't think. Uh, we have draconium dust. What can you do with draconium? Can draconium dust be just turned into ingots? If so, I have a lot more than I thought I did. Draconium dust. What can we do with you? Okay, does it go the other way around? What, what can we use draconium dust for? We can smelt it. Okay. That is all I need. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we're just going to do the first one first. So, sorry, I keep getting distracted with all the cool toys. I think it was on page five or six. Four. Sharpness, there it is. So we need four. I need 60 and 15. Okay. Do I have 60? I do. So we go boom, boom, boom. And that will give us a sharpness five. So we pull that out. Interesting. And so that cost a metric fuck ton of levels. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so before we go ham with that, let's do anvil. And if I'm not mistaken, can't we just go like this and then put you here and you here? And that will give us sharpness five. Hmm. So this is doing eight, 1.6 and 20. This is doing 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's like, it's like a 30% damage increase. Three. It's not quite, it's, it's more like a 40% damage increase, which is kind of disappointing. So that will give us, that will give us that. The question then is, what in the ever-loving shit is a Vorpal and Reaping? Will it tell me? Vorpal. It does not. Okay, let me look those up real quick. Okay, holy fucking hell, man. What a, what a, ugh. It's always one of those things in Minecraft where like, I'm just gonna do this real quick. This won't take long. And then you lose like three fucking hours. Okay, so where we left off, uh, we were researching these two recipes, specifically Vorpal and Reaper. Now Reaper is something in demo uh, demonic, Draconic evolution. I don't know the rules and everything there, but that Reaper five allows you to um, get souls better, but it's not these kind of souls. It's a, it's a totally different kind of souls. Vorpal on the other hand has a chance for you to do five times damage. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Five times. Tier one is 5%, tier two is 10%, tier three is 15%. So we're gonna want that one. Unfortunately, to do that, you have to make a slice and splice. And a slice and splice is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, energized biometal gears, which you can make from bioaffinity gears, which is just iron, iron nuggets and grains of infinity. Um, Normal iron bars, thank God. Solarium, which is just gold and uh, soul sand in the alloy furnace. Thankfully, that wasn't too hard. You do have to have some form of a head. Um, I think we use skeleton heads. And then for the soul machine, you need a simple machine case, which is just iron, iron bars, and grains of infinity. This was the hard part. But you then need soul attuned dye blend. You need all this shit. So quartz powder, easy. Organic black dye, easy. Organic brown dye, had to go find a jungle, had to go find cocoa beans, had to then plant jungle trees, had to then grow cocoa beans, then had to grind, I mean, just, oh fuck, man. Then you had to put them in a god dang alloy, f ugh. And then you got this soul powder, which you get with um, the sag mill by grinding up the solarium ingots that you made earlier. 
fun times. So anyways, got that done. Put a, uh, logic, put a diamond hole or ax in here, put shears in there. Um, I, I just couldn't be fucking bothered to put anything better in there. Uh, and then we, we just click that button and it puts one of our heads and everything else in there and it's making our Z-Logic controller for us. We're gonna go ahead and push it again. So we have another one. Um, the silicon is very easy. You just put sand in the mechanism crusher and it will spit that out for you. Makes it very easy. And what do you mean we don't have the head? We have a head right here. Are you kidding me? Creeper heads don't work? What? Um. Okay, we'll use, we'll use, uh, surely, we'll do it this way. Surely a wither head will work. You're not gonna be, oh my god, it has to be a fucking zombie head. Motherfucker. Do you know how hard it's gonna be for me to get a zombie head? God fucking dang it. How do we not have a zombie head? We got all these other heads. We don't have a fucking zombie head. I'm gonna lose my mind. Be right back. All right, I wanted you guys to see how much it took to get all this stuff. Um, I have looting three on my aluminum hammer, so we just came over here and killed in the uh, the mob room until we finally got a skeleton. Took about, or it's not a skeleton, a zombie. Uh, took about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15. Not too terrible. What do you? Oh, I left it over there. God. I'm fine. I'm fine. Maybe maybe losing all that Thomcraft sanity is finally kicking in. Oh, 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 oh man. That's alright. This is gonna be worth it. This is gonna be worth it. I'm gonna love this enchantment so much. It's gonna make me so happy. There we go. Perfect. Alright, while we're waiting on that, we gotta gobble some EXP real quick. I kind of hoped we'd get a ton of EXP over in the, uh, over there, but it, it doesn't look like we've, uh, we, that happened. So we only need level 27 to do this. Take that out. Clear, clear. Um, it's, I believe this and that, right? Oh, and it wants Lapis as well. Of course. Why? Duh. There we go. Warple three. Perfect. Pull that out. Takes all of our levels. Um, I put, well, let's repair this first because it's going to bug me to have this and it not be repaired. Come on. There we go. And then we put you and then you. It's going to cost us six levels. So let's pull that stuff out real quick. We just need level six. That There we go. Not a problem. Bam. Bam. There we go. Sharpness five. Vorpal three. Vorpal three. All right, let's shove the rest of this garbage. I'll keep that, keep that. Yeah, we definitely want to keep that. Uh, I don't know if you noticed we're over 400 now. I think we've been over 400 for a little bit. But I want to see if we can get this thing to proc real quick for us so we can see what kind of damage this thing will do. I'm hoping anyways. Let's put all this shit away. Uh, happy with keeping everything else. Okay, so now, man cave. This thing is, I mean, it's, it's jacked. It should be bad as hell. So let's break this, break that, break this. All right. We have a 15% chance to do five times damage. I don't know if there's going to be like a effect of some kind that we would see. I mean, it seems to be dropping bodies, that's for sure. Um, it doesn't have, I'm gonna probably put looting on it just uh, for shits and giggles. I mean, it seems like a good idea to have on this thing as well. Um, I could put fire aspect on it if I really wanted to. I don't think that's gonna do me much. Um, 521. Also, apparently, the more souls you get, the more souls you're supposed to get. Does that make sense? So, like, the more of these things I kill, the stronger I get with this will and shit. The more souls I should start getting by killing these things. Um, at least according to the book. 
So, you know, I don't know what the next... Yeah, I mean, you'll notice we're up to 11.5 hearts now. That's a lot more than the, what, six it started with? And then we had eight, I think, this morning. When we, not this morning, this afternoon when we got started. So, I, I am noticing an increase in the number of souls, but uh, not, it's not dramatic yet. So, I'm assuming once we get up around, I don't know, a couple thousand souls... And it looks like this gem is going to cap out at a thousand. So if we want to get to the next gem, can we even do that with this one? So we have common Tartaric gem. Oh shit. Fuck. What do we have right now? Common Tartaric gem. So if we want the next one, I don't know why it's not showing me the next one. Demon will aura? A strange device that will measure the demon will in the aura? What? Now I'm really confused. There it is. No, that's not what we want. We want the next big one. Why are you not showing me the next big one? There it is. This is the one we want. So this will be either, this will be two or 3,000, but to get this, we need a demon will crystal. To get that, I'm gonna have to make a Dawnstone anvil, which uh, I don't know anything about. So that'll probably be a little further down the line. I don't know if we're going to need that many souls yet. Although, you know, my thirst for blood. Wow, we're already up to 650. So yeah, we're definitely noticing an increase now. I mean, yeah, we're fighting some hard mobs. So there's that too. But definitely now that we're getting higher. Oh, wow, we one shot that spider. Whoa, little bastard. Holy shit balls! Fucking die! Damn! Alright, that, that little bastard definitely didn't want to go easy, did he? So, I'm, I mean, I'm not noticing a whole lot on Vorpal, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping, it, you know, I mean, it's only 15%, so that's 15 out of 100 swings we're going to get that 5x damage. That's not a lot. I mean, over time it's going to add up, it's going to be nice, but... Yeah. But, we're already up to 700 souls, so that's good. I think this is a good way to speed things up. Um, what we will do in future episodes is obviously increase our gems to a higher tier, but we're going to have to get into the Dawnstone Anvil, which requires Dawnstone Blocks, which can be stamped with Molten Dawnstone, Arc Furnace, so there's no way... What in the fuck? Dude, I'm trying to figure out something. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask the wife on this one because I don't know anything about Dawnstone. So, something I'm missing here. Um, but yeah. Also, uh, I wanna warn you guys, there is a strong possibility this will be the last Minecraft episode for this week and some of next week. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know or haven't watched the videos, I am starting a new job and we have to get Kat her driver's license this week and I have to teach her how to drive. Which isn't going to be horrifying at all. Help, help. It's going to be fine. I'm not worried the slightest. Please send help. It's going to be fine. Help me. It's going to be perfect. So that's going to be my weekend. That and cleaning the house because we have a guy coming out to look at the house. We are going to be moving as soon as we can afford to. Fun times. Nothing like a little stress in your life, right? So, anyways, I do apologize. This will probably be the last episode for the week, but I'll try and make it up for you guys, maybe with a live stream this weekend. Um, or maybe next week. Something along those lines. We'll see. That being said, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, let me know by slapping that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. It's that part of the episode where we uh, say thanks to the folks helping financially support the stream and the channel. Um, I want to thank all of you guys personally uh, for your support. It's huge. It helps a lot, and, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, first off, I want to thank Alex for 10 months of support. That's uh, coming up on a year, buddy. Coming up on a year. Dagger Cook and Cole Walker, both of you for nine months of support. Uh, James Seymour at seven months. Uh, X Legion X and Ronald Weasley 24, both of you guys at six months. Half a year. Uh, Star Wars John Smith, one month. And then we have Killa925, Xerxes Break 58, Chandler Porter, 
uh, Essential 2, Coaster 99, Blackhawk 8100, Nick and Drellian, all who've signed up in the last month. Thank you all so much. And then Michael Whitaker, I don't remember if I give you a shout out or not. You paid in advance, my friend. And I appreciate that. Two months of support. Uh, thank you guys once again. Uh, also, special shout out to Coaster and Blackhawk for uh, taking the top tier $10 support rank because apparently you guys got more money than cents. But I do appreciate it anyway. Uh, sorry if I sound tired. I just recorded this this morning. I hope to get this video up for you guys tonight. Um, and then I hope to get some more videos up this week. But uh, with my new job, that I'm starting on Monday, plus getting Cat's driver's license and a bunch of other stuff. It may be a little content light for a bit, but uh, we will get back to it. That being said, guys, thank you so much for your support. You guys have a great night, great evening, great weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.